what's the deal with coffee? Is it good for you? Is it not? Well, it turns out that coffee is one of the richest sources of an antioxidant called polyphenols. So I wouldn't throw it out of the bathwater yet, if that's even an expression I can use. Uh, but there are three things that I think you should keep in mind when you're uh, drinking or choosing your coffee. Number one is, is it organic? Coffee is one of the most heavily sprayed plants. So basically, if you're not getting organic coffee, you're sipping uh, a brewed pot of pesticides. Number two, what do you put in your coffee? Uh, here is so often, I put cream, I put milk, I put sugar. You're kind of really canceling out the beneficial effects of the antioxidants with the junk that can potentially be put in it. So there are a lot of cool alternatives. Um, one of them is cashew milk. It's just the same consistency as cream. And uh, there's also stevia, a lot of natural sweeteners, erythritol, that you could try out and see if you like. But actually, coffee being a bitter, if you're going to have breakfast afterwards, it's really good for di stimulating digestion. So having coffee black is not a bad idea. As you can see in mine, I have cinnamon and cocoa, um, just to add to the beneficial effects, and the cinnamon enhances uh, insulin sensitivity. So, you know, when I eat my carbs, it goes more into the muscles and less into the other places that we don't like. Uh, number three is how much coffee are you drinking a day? So we don't want to use coffee as a crutch to get our energy you know where it needs to be um, if it's not there already. I use coffee because I love the feeling of it. I'm Italian, I grew up with it um, and I just love the warmth of it but I would never use it more than uh, twice a day. One to two cups max. Um, if you need more than that then you need to kind of look at your diet lifestyle and see what's going on there. I hope this has helped um, and I hope you enjoy your coffee.